Hey everyone, George Sean Soaps here. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to actually use Tuss of Silk in cold process soap. What I'm doing is I am measuring out my water for my lye solution um, and I am getting ready to make a five pound batch of soap. So for my recipe I use about 15 ounces of water um, and then about just like seven ounces, a little over seven and a half ounces of lye. But anyway, this is the Tussa Silk. It's kind of like a cotton ball size amount. You don't need a lot um, to get the benefit. The benefit of the Tussa Silk, it adds a lot of slip and silkiness to the soap. Um, so it just kind of gives you a little bit better glide. And so you really just don't need that much. That was just kind of like a open, bit large size cotton ball. Um, so you don't need a lot. If you put too much in, sometimes it might have trouble dissolving. Um, so I'm going to grab my lye and add the lye in and then it's really just about stirring. So you want to add the lye and I always put the test of silk in directly because you do need quite a bit of heat from the heated lye solution to um, get the test of silk to dissolve. And as you can see, I just put my gloves on safety first when you're working with lye. Um, and so you really need the heat from the Uh, lye water to dissolve the silk. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lye directly into the container. And then it's all about stirring. And so you can see the Tessa silk is there. I've added in the lye and now it's gonna heat up super, super fast. It's obviously very hot for those of you who mix the lye, you know. And it's just about stirring. And here you can see the Tussa Silk's gonna get stuck on my spatula. Um, and this spatula I got from Be Scented. It's great, it's a one piece, so it's super easy to clean. You don't get soap scum like in two pieces on the spatula. And it's heat resistant, so it's good to use in the lye water. Um, makes cleanup really fast and easy. And then it also um, does the job for stirring. You don't have to worry about it melting. You wouldn't want to use a spoon. Um, you wouldn't want to use a metal spoon or a stainless steel spoon or a wooden spoon to stir it. You really want to have a nice solid um, silicone spatula to mix your lye water. And again, you can see I'm just stirring. It's just constant stirring. It takes about two minutes, I would say, to kind of fully dissolve into the lye water, especially if you add it at, add it right away into the solution. And there you go. It's still kind of dissolving a little bit. And I don't worry about straining it. I know a lot of people, I see a lot of other soap makers, they'll strain their lye solution. To me, it doesn't matter. The, um, if there is, if there are any little bits of the silk that kind of don't fully dissolve, it's going to go ahead and disappear in the whole saponification process. So there you can see after maybe like a minute and a half of stirring, it's pretty much fully dissolved. Um, and again, sorry about the angle, I was trying to zoom in so you could just see how much is gone. But um, really, that's it. it. Takes about two minutes to kind of dissolve and it adds a nice little benefit to your soap. And that's about it. That's how you use Tessa Silk. Thanks for watching.